Peace, this is Nicole and Pure Essence Beauty, and I'm here with the writers of Childhood Laws. I'm really excited to meet the brothers of Childhood Laws. Yes, they're brothers, writers of Childhood Laws. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Khalid. And I'm Steve. I'd like to start um, by asking you how you got into writing um, in the first place. How did that all begin? I had the idea of writing Childhood Laws from which is a real place for him, and he decided, he came to me and said, Steve, I got this idea for a story I'm gonna write. I just want you to read it and let me know what you think. So after reading it five, six times, I'm like, Khalid, this is more than just a story. I think it could go bigger than what we expected to do. So we attempted on our own to try to uh, edit it, put it out there, but we don't have training for that, so it kind of faltered. So we decided to really take it as a um, to the next level and try to get it edited and do all the right things by it. But then we decided that we could take it further than that. So. So what are you saying that you're self right like you're self self taught? You didn't go to school for writing or exactly, anything like exactly. that. Exactly. We didn't go to school for writing. We self taught ourselves out. Dream chaser. And, exactly. And, um, more more or less colleague than myself because he has naturally started it. And it, it just helped um, us spark to do more stories, create more characters, and that's where we're at right now. Like, if I could explain what Childhood's Lost is in a nutshell, um, Childhood's Lost is like a, a neighborhood of kids that are going through certain situations that they cultivate to each other. Like, you know, you might know Sheila from down the street or uh, Byron from around the corner or Bill somewhere. Like you know these people, but you really don't know their lives and how they intersect. And that's what we try to show with Childhood's Lost. Delete. have you been writing all your life? Like, what, what made you just take the pen and just start writing this story? I, it's just something I wanted to tell and I just didn't have an outlet. And more than anything, I just had a vision. I always wanted to give something back, work with the youth, and tell a story from them where I've been and where we came from as brothers and the things we've been through, but I had no way of doing it. I tried to reach out to organizations and different things, but you know, no one really listened. I wasn't, you know, I didn't have a name. I wasn't nobody, so it was hard to get my point across. Mm -hmm. So I just called Steve one day, I said, you know, I'm gonna write a book and we gonna publish it. Wow. <laughs> and, that was, and I started writing and it was- How many years ago was that? It was in, I wanna say 2008. Yeah. 2008. Yeah, we talked for almost five years. And it's funny, we wrote it then and it's still, it's even more relevant now. And that just goes to show that, um, that it's a place for it. And then, mm -hmm. you know, more than anything, it's real life. Yeah. You know, we wrote it then talking about the things that were going on and different stuff, but again, it's, it's relevant now. But no practice, never wrote anything before. Really never wrote anything since, but been working on the plays and really just working on mastering the stories that are child's laws. We went from just one story to, like Steve said, well, um, it's, it's about community, it's about, it's about youth in a whole, not one, not two, the totality, you know, our youth are facing, you know, and I always equate it to like modern day genocide, people like that's kind of dark, but it's, no, it's, it's reality, yeah, you yes. know, and there, our kids are getting younger doing things, things that, that they have and stuff there, you know, it's not surprising to see a 15 year old pregnant or a 15 year old boy with a gun, but five years ago this was like, wow, what's going on? Now it's, it's, it's every day, so it's just the, the cycles are getting younger. And it's really the essence of childhood's loss, you know, curbing their habits before their youth is gone. And we think a big part of that is, you know, making them really look and see that, you know, be, be youthful, enjoy the things that we enjoy playing outside. Just enjoy your youth because. Once it's gone, there's no getting it back. That's that's most definitely true. Mm -hmm. That's definitely true. How can I? How can we purchase Child of Laws? Because I would love to read the book. The play was amazing. I mean, the the play had me in tears, and I actually was taking video footage of the play because I was like, I have to let some people see this. They can't see it right now, but I want them to see this. So how can we purchase the book? Like, I want to read the book. That's first. That's really humbling. And every time I hear, you know, we hear someone say like, you know, that brought that brought about feeling and emotion. You know that we, you know, we did a good thing. The book is right now is being edited, and it'll be available, and you know, on online bookstores and everything really soon. 
you know, if you follow either me or Steve or Charles Law on Facebook. I follow y'all. <laughs> you know, we do a good job of just keeping people up, updating in depth on what we're doing. Like, we, you know, the book is coming, Charles Law, we're working on the web series, which I think even more than the plays I'm excited about. We're still using Bilal, this awesome writer, the writer, you know. And the beauty of it is, the, with the play, with, you lost a lot with the play. As much as people got, they didn't get it all. That's why I want to read the book. I, you yeah. can't really tell the whole story. But the dynamic of a web series, you could really get in depth. You could deal with the underlying stories. You could deal with the 15 minutes of real strong, the real strong message that we can't deal with in the play. So mm -hmm. that's going to be exciting. And we're actually working on that right now as well as the play. So it's, it's a good time for us right now. That's a blessing. As soon as that book is out, you have to send it to me. <laughs> I want a free one or the grab. I know. With the book, we worry about people receiving it and like how people going to take it. And we let three or four people read it. We let three or four adults read it. And I'm going to, is it different? We let three or four adults read it. And they reject, oh, this is too taboo. You kids won't be able to get this. But we let three or four young people read it. And yeah. everyone we let read it called us in tears. I love it. What, you know, people, where can we get it? Because they understood. It came, you know, it hit home. And it was for them. Charles Laws is for the youth. Yeah. We love to support us, the, the adults, the parents, you know, we, you know, the, we love the support, but understand the message is for, for the team. You know, it's yeah. for them. And as a teen, I wish I had that. I wish I had someone or that story to read. Yeah, I mean, when Child was lost, man, can we get a good neck of not um, following headlines? We, we don't deal with hot topics. We deal with real topics. We deal with things that cause the problems instead of, you know, after the problem was already out there trying to piggyback on it and start talking about, oh yeah, this is what should have happened. We try to dig deep and attack it early, you know, because we had a situation where a friend of mine has called me and said, you know, my, you know, one of the issues is HIV and Molly's and stuff. We talked about those things. And she called me up and said, well, this little boy I know said, I'm never going to do Molly's and I don't want to get HIV. And, you know, so it's resonating with the right people. We're catching them early. And that, that was our total mission from the beginning, like we said. It's really, it became more of a mission to save youth than even a book. You know what I mean? Right. And, and Stranger is the same because uh, at some point, me and Khalid do want to go into the schools or whatever. More him than me because I, I feel like I'm more of a support system to help guide what's going on with childhood loss. And because it, it started with his vision and we, we developed a chemistry that made it good for both of us. So, but I think our end game is to really have an organization that represents childless loss. But right now, we want to support other organizations that are out front mm -hmm. doing that because we think that right. it's more about helping people that are already in the system doing things instead of being the next guys on the block trying to do something totally right. different. You know what I mean? We, we want to support the, the people that are already out there on the front line. So that's our main goal right now. Have you worked with any other, any organizations? Um, we haven't yet, and we're, we're still trying. We work with local, we work with people, but not. Are any organizations out there that you would love to work with? We, we don't, we're not, we don't have a box. We want, we don't, I'm a, I don't know how to put this. We don't want to, I don't care, really care about the organization. We want to work with the youth. Yeah. If you have them and they're part of your organization, yeah. we would love to work with work with We would love to work with them. Right. And we would love to. You know, part of one of the things we're doing with Child's Law is part three. We want to, you know, we want to get to a point where we're able to give something back because, you know, see, would tell you, like, that's more important than, you know, we, like I said, we want to be able to support the people who, who want a front line. There's something right. to be said about the ones who, who's doing it. We're not there yet. Yeah. We're trying to get there. Yeah, they're giving up their time, giving right. up their yeah. money and their resources, and we want to be a support system for that. Like, it's not about us getting glory out of child thoughts because whatever comes may be right. and but our our end game is really we don't want to see other kids lose their childhoods and go through the things that you know Khalid went through that I had to witness as his brother you know what I mean it was turmoil in our lives at a point but mm -hmm. um you you see somebody go through a situation and you're like well what could I do to help and you really can't because you don't know what to do but we want to try to help these kids understand if you make better choices and better decisions 
you won't have to end up in our prison systems and our clinics right. and our, you know, right. homeless or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. So we're there to, to be a support system. We're not really trying to start an organization ourselves because we don't really have a platform for that. We believe we want to be the arm to help other organizations. Right, so. right, right. So is there anything out there the teens that you would like, if they would want to contact you, any information you would want to, just and not yeah, well, to the teens, but anyone right <laughs> well, there? Well, any, any, organi any organization that want to um, contact me or to leave, you can both research, both ways. Facebook, I'm Stephen Gardner on Facebook. My phone number is 215-255-5784. Um, Khalid, you want to give me information? I'm Khalid Kays on Facebook. I'm also, child, we also Childhood Lost. We both you know, are maintain that actual Facebook page. And the same thing, my number is 610-718-6204. You know, we, we, would like to, um, we would like to talk to like-minded people, people not so much like-minded that still want to be a part of yeah, and anybody that's serious about helping the youth, and, and it's not in it for um, their own glory. People that just want to be assistant and help some kids get out of the streets or whatever they're going through, we love to talk to them. We're trying to build our team. We got childhoodslost.com coming in the next couple of weeks. We're working on that. We got Childhoods Lost clothing line that we're planning on doing. And all these things are to help us support our mission. They're not just to. Uh, make us rich because we don't think they will make us rich. We think that it'll just be enough support to help us continue to do our work. So we ask that people support us and we'll support back. That's our main mission. Do you have any message that you would like to say to our city? Because there's nothing like getting help from your city. Um, yeah, come out and see the place. Right, see what, right, come out and support. <laughs> like, we, we have to be totally humble in saying like, through our vision, we came up with some very unique characters, and our right of Allah Islam was masterful in bringing these characters yes. to life. And the people really come out and don't don't think you know what it is. Come out and see it for yourself, mm -hmm. and we guarantee you'll be surprised, and you'll really go walk away with something. You'll be talking to I'll your kids. Tears. You'll be talking to your kids <laughs> on the way out. So that's what I'm talking about. If you can't reach and bring them to see child is lost, yeah, we guarantee you will give them an ear. And we're, you know, we, we're asking, we're, you know, give us a chance. These organizations, you know, we, people talk about the price of this or who's Give us a chance to let them be a part of it. We're, we're not trying to kill them. Like Steve said, we work full-time jobs. We, ain't, we know that we ain't trying to get rich. We just, we, we're trying to put a strong message out and get more than anything. It's funny, the last play I looked at, I looked around at the people that were there. And, I, you know, I was, I'm getting humbled to see so many faces. But I always, I always walk away wishing I saw them with a team. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. it's, it's for them, you know, if they if they want to come and, you, and they can or they can, let us know. Do you yeah. have any group rates? For we picked a bigger venue for that. Just for that. Uh, just for that. We have, we have space. Give us a shot. Yeah. You know. So we, we if you're a team group, non-profit organization, Philadelphia school board, school system, exactly. if you want to bring your teenagers out and teach them some lessons, that need to be taught and open up a dialogue, please get in contact with these brothers. Again, their contact information will be listed in the information and they'll also give you their information on how you can contact them. But we must support our local artists. It's nothing like supporting local artists. And Philadelphia has a platform and there, Philadelphia is a place where we must unite as artists. So please support these local brothers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>